Let's talk about the best question I have. The best question I have is a question I use all the time. And it's a secret that I'm happy to share with everybody out there as well. And it's a question that the best leaders that I've ever worked with use as well. Let me explain this question to you. Let's talk about a situation that happened recently where a chief marketing officer came to the CEO and was saying, oh, I'm not sure what to do here. Was complaining about the state of the economy, how ad spend had gone up, was effectively talking about and giving a tirade of this is what the problem is with my, I can't do my job all these issues and challenges that were going on there now a more an experienced leader might try and dive in and try and help solve some of those questions might try to help solve what's going on or what you need to do is this or maybe have you thought about that the best leaders out there ask one simple question and that simple question is what what's really going on here and that often makes the person stop and think and you see them doing it because again, they've come in with lots of symptoms and challenges and issues and thoughts and all those sorts of things as well. But normally when you hear a challenge or a problem or an issue or a complaint, something else is happening. And that question helps you go deeper. It helps you go to a layer beneath in the onion skin that is often many, many people. And in asking that question, what's really going on here, that allows the other person to stop and to speak, to examine how they're feeling, what they're thinking, what their motivations are, where they're going, to really try and question, well, why are they here? Why are they asking these questions? Now, the best leaders, again, when they hear a response saying, wow, well, the economy's bad, things are really difficult, is again, they stop and they say, no, 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 what's really going on here? And you know when you've hit gold in that particular question, when you hear people talk about emotional stuff. I don't feel like, feel like I can do this or I'm not really sure what's going on here or I'm not really understanding what I need to do in this particular situation or there's a challenge there and that's often symptomatically seen as being an emotion that's holding that person back means that they're sort of sharing lots of other symptoms of things that are going on and by addressing that underlying emotion understanding where that's coming from and what's going on you can help that person understand what it is they need to do next rather than again solving the superficial problems that sit at the top and again, if you find yourself with people coming to you with lots of superficial problems, the same superficial problems all the time, stupid, small, difficult questions that should be easy to answer, they don't have the confidence to answer themselves, stop and ask them, well, what's really going on here? And don't stop asking that question until you get something that really speaks to the heart of what that person is talking to you about what they're talking to. Maybe they're lacking in confidence. Maybe they're scared of something. Maybe something else is going on in their private life. Maybe having the challenges with a different employee. Who knows what it is? But whatever it is, that's the real root cause of what's going on. And by asking the right sorts of questions, you can get to the root cause and really solve the problem that needs to be solved, not the superficial problems which you see around the outside.